I have ideas. All right, hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting the room makeover that I've been teasing you guys about. We are not going to be doing any major changes, like we're not gonna be moving furniture and stuff, but we are gonna be doing small, subtle changes that will change the overall flow and um, usability, for lack of a better term, of the room. So let me show you the current state and then I'll kind of explain what we're gonna be doing. Starting at the door, this is the current bedroom. So we have the dresser here, bed, a whole bunch of nerdy stuff and everything. Um, my side table, big mess down there on the floor. And then the desks are over here and the litter box is over there. That's the current state of the room. And this is gonna be a couple of days to do this. Um, but what our first task is going to be is taking all of these down off of my headboard, dusting the headboard, and, um, we're going to move something else onto the headboard because they are getting absolutely disgusting. You can see how discolored Donald is there, um, from the dust from the litter box. So we're going to move them in a place where they're not so directly near the litter box and they're not getting the fan because that is causing some issues as well. Um. So what my plan is, is we're gonna move those wooden um, drawers and things that are on the desk over there onto the headboard. Um, not quite sure exactly what we're gonna use them for, but I'm gonna put them over there so that they don't get wasted. Um, and then we have something new, which you'll see here, for over on the desk. <laughs> So that um, the wooden pieces are a little bit wider or longer than the headboard is wide. So they're hanging over the edge a little bit. The little, these little ones on the ends are not so far that it's going to bother me, but that drawer is very, very far over the edge. So I don't think we're going to be able to use the drawer. We'll have to utilize that elsewhere, but I think we can still use these two. And then there's another one over on the desk that I think I can use in the middle. So can't use the drawer which is unfortunate but it doesn't mean that we're completely out of the woods like we're completely like this idea is completely ruined or anything we could still use our original idea we just can't use it <laughs> what's going in these ones or even in that one quite frankly um because I want it to be something that makes sense for the location let me just turn on the light it's kind of dark in here today um I want it to be something that makes sense for the location meaning on my headboard uh but I'm not sure what that's going to be just yet because like originally I would probably have put like my kindle and stuff in this one but I have a ignore the very messy side table I have a um charger stand now for all of that and I'd really rather just leave that on there. So I'm not really sure what's gonna be going up there, but we will figure it out. And look, now I have another vantage point. That's great. So we're gonna open up the box now um, to get out the desk organizers that I bought. Now, my original idea was to get like an actual desk organizer, you know, that's specifically made for the desk. Um, but as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I was looking for something very specific and I was not having any luck finding it. So what I ended up getting are just drawers that are supposed to technically be used for like cosmetics, but I'm going to use them for desk organization. So they're like clear drawers that um, come in varying sizes. So I like that because I can, um, you know, organize it in my own way and like you can put whatever you want in it because there's different sizes. 
and I also like that you can stack them stack them in any way you like so that's what we're gonna open up and get over on the desk first I need to clean the desk but I want to open them up and make sure everything's okay with them first Like I said, varying sizes and they're stackable. Although it looks like these ones were pre-stacked and like you can't take them off. So they're not as stackable as I thought they were, but at least they're only in like sets of four. So they're very nice. There's uh, a total of 16 of them. So that should be enough, but at least I know where I can get more if I do not, because I just got them on Amazon. I will link them down below for you guys. I have some tall ones. This way or if I want to turn them this way but I feel like if I turn them this way then that's gonna be defeating the purpose because I wanted to try to save the space between stuff and the computer um, I'm not thrilled they're not as customizable as I thought they were gonna be but like I said I can always buy more which I think I probably will even if I leave them in this direction because there's still plenty of vertical space. These this stuff would obviously come down, but there's still plenty of vertical space to add more. I changed up up here. It's all my witchy stuff. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these, honestly. Um, I mean, it, I don't get me wrong. I like the drawers. I'm just not sure how I feel about the setup. So I might continue to work with it. Maybe possibly... I want to say I'll move the computer into the corner and then put the drawers over by the coffee machine, but I don't know if I want to do that for a couple of reasons. One, I would not have the window light for when I want to record at the computer, but also it'd be kind of a weird angle to sit in, especially with the writing desk right here. So I'm not sure. We might continue to work with those, but I do like the drawers as a whole. So we're just going to try to figure out the best way to use them. Okay, well, it's not much, but it's a start. So we have the headboard started. We put some of our Funko Pops up there, current read. Um, there's a journal behind that, and then like TV remotes and glasses cases and stuff like that that I need before bed. <clears throat> and then we cleaned off part of this and started filling the drawers. Um, still plenty empty ones that I'm not sure what I'm gonna fill them with, but we have a big old mess of stuff just kind of everywhere. Um, I just put the stuffed animals in the box for now until I can figure that out because I wanted to put them over here but I've only got one shelf clean and the shelves are kind of small so I don't know if that's gonna work but um, oh and all my client um, books are over there on that little bookshelf. So it's a work in progress but it's a start and I can somewhat clean off my bed tonight to sleep in so that's an accomplishment I would say. Okay so this is the portion of the video where I show you guys a haul because today I went to um, a thrift store and Hot Topic. I also went to Walmart but um, that doesn't have anything to do with the room so I'm not going to throw that in here but there is a short on my channel hopefully I've edited it and posted it by now of a very short quick uh, book haul and I also got a couple of shirts from Walmart but I didn't put those in there. Um, I'm I'm sure you guys will see them at some point because one is a work shirt and one's a graphic tee so I'm sure you'll see them at some point. For the room specifically we got ourselves some new Funko Pops um all were completely on sale. This one came from the thrift store it's Karen Walker from Will and Grace because she's a badass bitch so we're gonna put her up on the headboard with um 
Golden Girls and Jessica Fletcher and Merida because all badass bitches. These two I got at Hot Topic and they were both um, not only on clearance, but also buy one, get one half off. So um, I got both for 15, which is an amazing deal. I got this little guy from the Star Wars movies. And I don't, I don't have any Star Wars Funko Pops except for the little miniature ones, which I didn't realize before. And it's kind of weird because Star Wars, y'all. Um, so I got him and then I got Poison Ivy. They're kind of hard to see because they're in their boxes, but they're staying in their boxes because it's the only way to display Funko Pops, in my opinion. Unless they're used and they don't come in a box, then I get it. But otherwise, they stay in their boxes, y'all. Um, and so all three of these, so I can close up all three at the same time. <laughs> I doubt it, but... All three of these are going on the headboard, um, because that's just where I want them. I want Funko Pops on my headboard now instead of stuffed animals. One part of the remodel that I think is probably gonna have to be rethought is I thought about putting stuffed animals on this little cart back here, um, but I'm not sure where I would put some of the other stuff that's on the cart, and also they're kind of big, so they don't really fit too well. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with the stuffed animals. They may have to be displayed in the closet. I did go look at bookshelves at Walmart today, but I didn't buy one because I didn't measure. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't really know yet. Chances are I'm probably going to just throw them in the closet on the floor for now until I can figure out what I'm doing with those. So that part you might not see in the video, but I have ideas. Um, okay, continuing with the haul. At the thrift store, I got this sign of a Ouija board with a black cat. It's going to go in my witchy corner. Um, I'll show you guys when I put all this up, of course. Um, I got this Star Wars sign of the Jawa. Again, if you don't know Star Wars, that is where Luke got the uh, droids from, R2-D2 and C-3PO. This is not for the remodel, but I got this little elephant for my coworker because um, she loves elephants. So I got that for her give that to her to, I might be seeing her tomorrow I'm not sure but if not it'll be Friday little planchette that has um my pronouns on it she her and then lastly from the thrift store I got this gorgeous fairy statue um with some dragons she's holding a dragon then there's some dragons and mushrooms around the bottom which is like completely perfect for me she's gorgeous she was not expensive at all um so yeah, I definitely picked her up. I'm not sure where she's gonna go. Maybe just on my desk near the witchy stuff. I'm not sure yet. Um, I wanna put it somewhere where it's not gonna get broken by the cat, but also, you know, I can enjoy it. So um, she has to be cleaned up a little. She's a little dirty, a little sticky. Um, got some cobwebs on her. So we're gonna clean her up before we put her anywhere. But I love her. She's got beautiful purple clothes on. She's got purple hair. Ah, absolutely perfect. I love this. I, I I like sprinted towards that when I saw it. So, so that is my room haul for today. It's not a lot. It's not as much as I wanted to get. And I wanted to get like some vases and stuff. But I didn't really find anything that I really, really wanted that was a good price. So um, I'll probably like go to the dollar store or something one of these days and get a few more things. <laughs> apartment today so we're going to take this opportunity to do some cleaning and decluttering we need to be alone to do it because we're going to just pull everything out of the bedroom and then like into the hallway and stuff and go through it all because i know there's clothes that have to get gone there's a bunch of stuff under my bed i never touch so we're going to go through all of that i also need to try to find um <laughs> these hooks there's this here let me show you see this um brown board behind my desk it's like a pegboard that I used to use when I sold, um, you know, direct sale jewelry. And I don't want to get rid of it, so I want to utilize it and put office supplies on it, like scissors and stuff, and I want to hang it from there. So I have hooks for it, but I just don't know what to do with the hooks. So I want to try to find those. I'm thinking they're probably under the bed somewhere. So that is the big plan for today. But first, we're going to get some clothes washed because I have a whole bunch of delicates that have to be done, um, including some brand new stuff. So... I want to get those washed and hung up while my mom is not here so that they're not, you know, in her way for too long. They're going to obviously be in her way a little bit because they're going to have to be hung up overnight, but at least they're not in her way all day long. So we're going to get those going 
and washed and then we're going to get started. I don't know how I'm going to start. I don't know where I'm going to start. I'm thinking I probably should start with the clothes. Um, go through my dresser here and there's a um, tote underneath the bed that has like spring clothes in it. I'm thinking I probably should go through all of that because I know I'm going to have to redo my spring wardrobe. As expensive as it's going to be, I know it's going to have to happen. So I need to go through all that stuff, see what fits, what doesn't fit. And then I'm going to have a huge pile of clothes to list on Vinted. Hi, you want to say hi? You want to say hi to the video? No, you just want your treat, don't you? You want your treat? Okay, we get it. Hold on. You want chicken or turkey? Chicken or turkey? Chicken? Okay. Sit down. Sit. Here you go. Number two. Okay, you gotta look up. Good boy. Yeah, so anyway, let's get started on this cleaning and decluttering of the day. <music> concept has been something that has been I've been thinking about it for a long time but it's just a really overwhelming idea because there's just so much in my room and I don't know about you guys but when I get to the point where I start like pulling things out and cleaning and stuff once I see all that like piled in in the hallway and you know on the bed and whatnot I get so overwhelmed that I almost want to quit um, which is why I just spent the last two hours completely procrastinating, scrolling on TikTok, watching Drop Dead Diva, and having a cat on my lap. But now we're getting into it, and I think to not completely overwhelm myself, I'm going to start in this corner. Because I think, <clears throat> first of all, there's a bunch of stuff on the floor that just needs to be organized. Mischief, no. Hey. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, that bag that you can see sort of in the corner there. That is Lynn's Christmas presents from like four years ago <laughs> that I still have not sent out. So that's going to go down in the car so that maybe I can actually remember to send it out one of these days. Um, but also like this drawer thing used to be on my desk. I want to make it put it under the bed with the other one. Just, you know, random little bits like that. We're going to do, we'll do the nerd corner last because that's not going to affect the decluttering. That's just cleaning. That's just dusting. Um, so I don't want to do that and take up too much time with that when I have more decluttering to do. But I think we're going to do the headboard next because I am going to go through some of these DVDs and some of the snow globes and some of these snow globes over here. So I think that's what we'll do is we'll start in this corner and then just kind of like make the rounds. And then under the bed's probably going to be last. A lot of that might be tonight because I might need my mom's help with it, but we shall see. I wanted to kind of do that while she wasn't here, though, because that's a lot of the stuff that I will have to pull out and put in the hallway. And I didn't want her, you know, to accidentally step her toe or trip over something. But this is, I, I feel like, I mean, the desk is not bad. Both desks are, are not bad. There's some decluttering I got to do in the filing cabinet and, like, under the desk over here. Um, but actually, on the desk, they're not bad. So maybe I'll actually leave that stuff till the last. We have figured out another change. So this is how the top is looking of the headboard. But... We're gonna put um, a Betty Boop here because I moved the Star Wars one to here. Um, and I think, no, I know, I know I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go through all the snow globes, get rid of what we don't want, put everything snow globe wise over on this little um, stand, move these DVDs and a couple that are hiding under there where the snow globes are because it's a bigger shelf and we can add more. And then this shelf is going to be for everything that was on my nightstand so that this area can be free because that was just feeling way too cluttered. So we're going to put everything there except for my coaster for my drink. We we'll probably have to go here, which I don't like because my drink will cover these up. But honestly, I only have a drink in bed at night. So what do I care if they're covered up? So, but that's where everything's going to go there. And then we have, we'll have this bottom shelf for random little assortments and a couple of DVDs that I got for Christmas that I have not watched yet that I don't know where I'm putting yet so I'm just gonna put them there and then that shelf down there I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet okay I'm cheating a little bit I'm gonna clean this first um and go through these snow globes 
that way I can go through those snow globes and then move them over without having to, you know, put them on the bed or whatever. I could just move them because it'll be all set. So I'm going to clean this first and then I'll do those shelves. The corner is all done and then we'll move all of that where it's moving. And the fan really needs to get done too. Look at how disgusting that is, guys. That is from the litter box and the cat hair. That is nasty. That really needs to get done today. <laughs> Quite honestly, I feel like the majority of these snow globes are going to go because unless they have sentimental value like these ones, most of them are either discolored, the, um, you know, the stuff on the inside is coming apart, they're losing all their water, or they're just ones that I just bought at the dollar store just because I was having a collection and I really don't need them anymore. So I feel like the majority of them are gonna go. Like this one's from Bolt Castle and I love it, but it's coming apart. So these are some of the dollar store ones. They just don't need. This one's still pretty good condition, so I might ask my mom if she wants that one because she likes fairies. As much as I love the elephant one, I just don't need it. I'm getting rid of all of the plastic ones from places I visited or ones that people have sent me because they're just not in good condition and I don't need them anymore. Okay, here is where we are at the moment. Let's turn off the fan this right in your guys's ears so all of the snow globes are over on this display cabinet whatever you want to call it i still have to go through the drawer that's down there and i have to declutter all this crap so um there's a whole box over there of ones i'm getting rid of so that's great and this is the headboard and we've moved the dvds we have this space for our nightstand stuff and we left pretty much left everything that was down here down there but um we have an empty shelf, so that's progress. Now we have room for something else, and I don't know what. So I have no idea what's gonna go there, but um, the lamp is over there now. All the Star Wars stuff is together. I'm loving it. Here it is. All together, I am loving the new setup. I'm very overwhelmed at the moment, and I'm kind of running out of energy, even though I haven't been doing it that long, which is sad, but I've been doing running out of a lot of energy a lot lately, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of my new diet or what, but um, yeah, we're gonna figure that out. But I haven't even really even started to declutter and clean, and I'm already running out of energy and getting overwhelmed, so that's not good for what we want to get done. But it's not even two o'clock, so we got time um, between now and when my mom gets home, and also tonight. So, I mean, it's not like I'm giving up. It's just, I'm, I'm not really sure where to go from here. I feel like I need to do what's under the bed, but I know the minute I pull all that out, I'm just gonna not wanna do it. So I'm not sure if I should do that or if I should wait till mom comes home to help me that or what. But we did get rid of about half the snow globe. So that's, I mean, that's decluttering. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I still wanna go through my clothes. There's just so much. This might have to be a more than one day thing, which would be fine because I'm not really doing much this week. Um, unlike previous weeks, I don't really have like a lot of errands to run. I'm not, you know, going out and doing valid things. So, I mean, I can do it over the whole week. I just, it's hard to do things um, like before work and then like I have client work to do and we had to go grocery shopping this weekend and obviously there's work and there's just so much going on right now and I'm, I'm really struggling to juggle it all. Part of the reason I'm probably running out of energy is I haven't had a single drink of anything today. So probably should remedy that until I just lost my train of thought. That's another thing that's been happening lately is I'm, my memory and like See, like I just screeched to a halt. Like what is going on there? Um, I don't know. But I'm not going to a doctor to find out. So don't tell me that in the comments because I appreciate it. I know it's from a, a place of kindness and, you know, obviously it's good advice. Go to a doctor if you're not feeling good. But my phobias are real and phobia, fear of a medical professional is one of my phobias. So it's not worth my mental health that I go through and the panic and anxiety that I go through to go to a doctor. So that's just the reality of my life and is probably not good because I probably have a lot of crap going on in money that probably could benefit from going to a doctor and getting medication and stuff. But 
No, <laughs> just don't. So, yeah, we're going to try to figure it out naturally, which I've been pretty successful with over several years. So thinking right now is not working. You can tell. You can tell, I'm sure, that I'm not. My brain is just not turning. The gears are not turning up there, y'all. I'm going to go through my clothes, but I don't think they're going to get listed on Vinted today. I think that's going to have to be another day, too, because I'm just not... There's just not enough time. And there's a big, huge pile of clothes to get listed. So that's going to probably take a whole day on its own. So that might be something I do before work is just focus on getting those listed. And I, I, I got to do the fan because it look, that's just disgusting. That has to get done today. So maybe I'll do that next. I mean, that's not decluttering. That's cleaning, but ugh. maybe I'll, what I'll work on is getting rid of this crap over here. Because a lot of that's just basically has to go to the dumpster. So I'm just throwing it in a garbage bag. So maybe that's what I'll work on next because it's a little less overwhelming. And then after that, I think we'll work on under the bed. You know, I feel like I can't really go any further if I don't do under the bed. So that is going to be the plan. But first, I am going to go get a snack because I'm actually kind of hungry because I've been just eating cereal for breakfast. Um, unlike my usual um, granola with fruit and stuff, which usually fills me up pretty good. And I've just been eating cereal and that does not last. So I think... Since I didn't eat lunch, I'm going to allow myself to have a snack because dinner's for not a few, for a few hours yet. Probably more like six tonight because mom's going to the store after work. Yeah, I'm going to go get a snack and I'm going to go get a drink because like I said, I haven't, don't think I've taken a sip of a drink today, which is not good. So even though I'm not really in the mood to make coffee because it's just too many steps right now and it involves the coffee maker that is on the desk and there's stuff in the way. So, um, but I'm going to go get, at least get water, maybe soda. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm going to allow myself to do right now. And I also have to switch over the towels from the washing machine to the dryer. I wish this was easier. It probably would be easier if there was more space. But, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Snack, drink, back to decluttering. <clears throat> Let's start with the easy stuff. The clothes. Although, I say easy, it might not be easy. Because I don't know what fits anymore and what doesn't. Most of this is seasonal stuff. I don't want to get rid of this shirt, but it's a 3X. I've gotten a lot of use out of it, so I mean, I guess I can let it go. It's my Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins Please shirt. I don't want to let go of it, but look how big it is. It's probably just going to end up falling off of me. Maybe I can downgrade it to a sleep shirt. Maybe that's what I'll do. Three X's, but I think they're like junior three X's because they don't look very big. So I think I'll keep that one. And this is an Old Navy two X, so that probably fits fine. Oh, the Disney shirts. They're going to probably have to be downgraded to sleep shirts because they're really big sizes. Halloween shirt that used to be too tight, but is probably now too big. So I think we'll get rid of that one. Tank tops. I don't know that they fit anymore. This one will, because this is not LuLaRoe. It is a 3X though, but I think it'll fit. So I think I'll keep that one. But I think the LuLaRoe tank tops will go. I'll have to buy new tank tops. Skirts are going. I'm not a skirt person anymore. Not a tank top. I think I'll keep the skirts. That's a skirt. Simply because I just bought them. And also, they're sort of short. So they're sort of both masculine and feminine, I would say. So I think we'll keep those. Dress, buy. The shorts I gotta try on, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because my legs are not shaved. Um, little TMI for you there. So I guess that was easier than I thought it was. Just gotta try on the shorts. Should we switch out winter and spring? I mean, we did just get a snowstorm, but I have my window open right now. I think it's a bad omen or a good omen if I switch out my winter and my spring. Okay, so good news for my wallet, not so good news for my weight loss journey, but this is the only pair of shorts that are too big. The other ones still fit. They are looser. I mean, they, obviously they're going to be, but they don't fall off or anything. So they're salvageable. So I don't have to buy new shorts, except maybe one pair because all I have is a white, a green, and a yellow. So I think I want to get like a black or a blue, just another light and kind of more neutral color. So I might buy like one or two pairs, but I don't have to redo my entire s supply of shorts. So that's good. All of this, everything from the box to that big old tote is all clothes I need to list on Vinted. Some of them are already listed, but most of them are new things that are not listed yet. So this is why I'm saying I think I'm going to need to take like a whole, at least half a day, like all the morning and afternoon before I go to work 
to just do that because it's going to take so long to list all this stuff. I mean, some of it probably won't list it. I don't think I'm going to list those pajama pants. They're probably just going to go to Salvation Army, but the majority of it's going to have to be listed on Vinted and it's going to take me forever. At least it's all together now. I still haven't gone through the dresser. I still have to go through the dresser. I'll probably still do that tonight, but I'm kind of to the point right now where I'm kind of done for the moment. But all of this is done. All the snow globes are where they're supposed to be. That corner is now cleaned up. Under the bed is good to go. We have some new drawers under there and it's all storage. And um, we found our hooks, so we're getting there. I haven't cleaned the fan yet too. But I think that's probably gonna be pretty much it for the day. Um, like I guess I'm gonna clean the fan and probably go through the dresser, but otherwise I'm, I'm done. <laughs> My energy levels have plummeted. Oh, and um, I used this shelf for those DVDs that I got at Christmas that I haven't watched yet. So for now, that's what it's going to be used for. But if I end up moving those at some point, um, which some of them will at least be moved because some of them are Disney movies, but um, that'll figure out what I'm using the shelf for. But right now, I'm, I don't really have a use for it. So that's fine with me for them to just sit there like that. So, and I don't know why I procrastinated doing under the bed for so long. It really wasn't that hard. Most of it already was storage. So it's just, you know, my, my brain telling me not to do it and procrastinating, but that's done now too. I mean, I didn't do like underneath the headboard, there's some stuff, but it's mostly just spare pieces of luggage. So aside from vacuuming up cobwebs, there's not much to do. So we're getting there. But like I said, this is going to be a several day project. So this is probably something I'm going to work on all week. Um, and maybe even on Easter because the store is closed on Easter. So I don't have to work. And all we're really doing is going over to my grandmother's to eat. So I might do some on Easter too. We'll see. I don't know. I might just take the day, you know, but we'll see where I am at that point. Okay, y'all, I am not going to show my face because it is Easter Sunday and I am in complete comfort clothes, no glasses, and, and yeah, I'm, my hair is a mess. I'm just not going to show my face, but I organized, decluttered, or decluttered and organized my dresser. This is the top drawer. We have socks, underwear, bras, and pajamas. Next drawer is all my pants, jeans, leggings, work pants, shorts, um, and sweatpants. Another pair of sweatpants will go right here. And then, ta-da! Look at this magic. Ignore the people honking outside. This is 25, will be 26 after the laundry is done. Graphic tees in one drawer. This is beautiful to the point where I almost want it, don't want to disturb it to wear them. <laughs> but yeah. Now, to everybody who's been messaging me saying I do not have a graphic tee problem. Would you like to retract your statement at this time? Because there's 25 in this drawer, soon to be 26. And then in the bottom drawer, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Yeah, and that's not even including this pile in the middle that is um, like all at home lazy time shirts. So, yeah, so that's what's in that drawer, plus pajama pants and um, spirit jerseys from Disney World. So, the dresser is all nice and organized, and I'm happy with it. And we're getting rid of another bag of clothes. Just go in that pile for when we finally get them invented. And then these are going to go into the closet now that there's space. Those shirts are going to go um, be put away. And look at all the extra hangers we have now so that's great i did not leave room for my columbia sweatshirt which is unfortunate because i do want that in a drawer so that's what i did on easter sunday y'all hope you had a good holiday and i'll see you tomorrow when we continue the decluttering and organizing actually it probably will be till tuesday to be honest because tomorrow i really have to do some client work and stuff so i'll see you guys on tuesday Bye.